voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand. Hello, pumpkins. Oh, please tell me it's not feminist propaganda. Please tell me it's not feminist propaganda. Please tell me it's not feminist propaganda. You know what I really can't stand? Well, jeez, I don't know. Could it be anime? Anime girls. But pumpkin, how can you say that? You're a girl yourself. Exactly. Because people will say that to you. <sighs> this is gonna be a long one. Because I'm a girl, I recognize the problems. Or maybe the reason you see this quote-unquote problem is because you've been self-absorbed into this feminist ideology. You know what I'm talking about, those same feminists who tell you that video games are fucking sexist. Like, oh geez, I don't know, Anita Sarkeesian. A lot of girls in anime and manga are simply awful. They are boring, one-dimensional, extremely sexualized, and their only motivation for doing anything is romantic love. You mean like Rukia Kuchiki from Bleach? Or Shiro from Dead Man Wonderland? Or Nico Robin from One Piece? Or what about the Pokemon girls? And the Digimon girls? Female characters usually fulfill different stereotypes. We have the shy one. We have the shy one, we have the tsundere, we have the feisty one. Oh look what I have here! It's Maka Albar, one of the most memorable anime characters of all fucking time. But seriously though, if you truly do believe in that, that every goddamn anime character that is female has to fall into any of these stereotypes, then you're nothing more than a dishonest piece of trash. Um, that's about it. It's really, really sad when you think about it. It's gotten to the point where a girl is introduced to a story and I automatically go, huh. because I'm like, okay, let's see which stereotype she will fit into. Because you watch so much anime, there is just a lot of proof that you actually do. Isn't it sad? I mean, when it comes to guys, sure, we have stereotypes there as well. But even with side characters, there are male characters that are interesting, complex, and unique. Oh, look what I just found! It's Lucy from Elfin Lead! You wanna know her past? Well, she's basically an experiment. Yes, she's been experimented on by cruel, cruel humans. Boys be like, I need to bring peace to this world. Girls be like, Boys. <laughs> Please notice me, <laughs> senpai. Holy fuck is this wrong? But holy hell, is it erotic? My god, your acting is so unbelievably cringe-worthy. Like, the biggest goal is to get together with this boy. I was able to ignore a lot of that when I was younger, when I was like 14, 15 years old and first to started to really get into series like Naruto, even though my sister told me like, the girls in there are really useless, they don't do anything, and they're just represented as these weak, plotless beings. That's pretty much Sakura Haruno in a fucking nutshell. Seriously. In the first Naruto series, she is absolutely useless. But at that time, I was just decided to ignore it until until I couldn't. I think the ending of Naruto marked a time when I was like, no, I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. Fuck this shit. It was just a slap in my face. Spoiler alert. In the end, every girl ended up as a housewife, except Tenten, who had a failing business. Now, there's nothing wrong with being a domestic engineer. The problem is when every girl in the series end up like that. Pray tell, if there's nothing wrong with being a stay-at-home mom or whatever, which there isn't, then why couldn't any of the guys do that? First of all, there isn't even that much details about the ending. In the Naruto universe, sure, Sakura, Ina, and Hinata may be housewives, but that doesn't mean that they stop being ninjas. Hell, if you've seen the anime and movies, you will see that Sakura parents and Naruto parents in the mirror world are still ninjas. They still serve the Hokage, so if there's a mission that needs to be done, then they will do it. Plus, it is possible that Eno has to work in the flower shop, so it's possible that Eno has a side job. Or is being the current owner of the flower shop part of Patriarchy Man and his sidekick Sexist Boy plan to make women nothing more than sex objects? Second, these people are not cardboard cutouts of just stereotypical women. These women have backstories. Hell, there's a woman that's basically a god that is behind it all, who has an interesting backstory. 
This proves you know nothing about the Naruto universe. I would have been a lot happier if it would have been mixed. We see some of the guys, maybe be domestic engineers, and some of the girls have other careers. But these women are still ninjas. These women can kick your fucking ass. It's just fulfilling such a gender stereotype from the 50s. Japan? Snap out of it. Oh, I'm sorry, princess. I guess Japan should just kneel down before you because you have such a wonderful ideology on how anime girls should be portrayed. The ending just made it so obvious what the girls were created for. They were there as pairing fodder, and not much more. Bullshit, 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 bullshit. I've never been a big fan of any of the girls in Naruto, simply because most of them only exist to have a crush on one of the boys, to be their romantic interest or something. Yes, some of them had some development. In the end, they never got out of that, I have a crush, and that's the biggest part of my personality. Until Shippleton, where all oh, those girls don't go googly eye whenever they see Sasuke anymore. Stage. It started with them having a crush, it ended with them fulfilling their goal of getting married and having kids with these guys. But how about the three T's? Tsunade, Tamari, and Tenten. Aren't they exceptions? Are they really? Because having a boyfriend is so mainstream! We don't get enough information on Tenten, so let's put her out of the picture at once. Tsunade's pretty badass, I'm gonna admit, but even her backstory is about a guy. Oh, and she also has a little brother as well, but don't tell her that! And Tamari? When she went against Shikamaru in Chunin exam, he said, and I quote, I'm not really interested in becoming a Chunin, but a guy can never lose to a woman. And she fucking loses. Oh my god, you're a big fat fucking liar yet again. Even though Shikamaru could have defeated Tamari, Shikamaru gave up because he had no moves left. Kishimoto, do you hate girls or something? The real question is, how big of a fucking liar you are, Pumpkin Tail? And this isn't just about Naruto, just look at most shonen, and you'll see this again and again. Like the examples that I have provided! Once again, you're nothing more than a big fat liar. We may have some kickers girls, but they're always weaker than the guy characters. Sailor Moon would like to say hello to you! They're only strong for being women. And the sad thing is, the authors, they are like, yeah, I, I made the girl that way so that a lot of girls could relate to her. My guess is that is your impersonation on how you're performing this video. Who are you talking to? What? Okay, I do get that some could relate to this, like having unrequited love on a cool guy or whatever, but it's not enough. Oh, we must appeal to the mighty princess who doesn't like anime girls. You could do so much more. I just really want to see a female character who kicks ass, whose main motivation isn't romantic love, and who's wearing clothes while she's kicking ass. Because you know so much about anime! That's another thing that can really get on my nerves. Excessive fan service. Now, I'm not a prude. I've seen things, mainly on Tumblr. I just don't like it when fan service is like, IN YOUR FACE! Apparently, there's something wrong with giving fan service every now and then. I mean, you act like fan service is only for the boys. Fan service for me is just proof that the story is lacking, they can't come up with anything interesting for the plot, and so they just add cleavage to distract from it. Because apparently they never, ever, 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 ever show half-naked boys. Never! It's annoying because it often just reduces a girl to a thing guys can rule over. And they get liked only for the reason that, oh, but they're cute, or oh, they are sexy. One, what? Bullshit. <laughs> personality? What is that? No, personality is also personality. You are just one very stupid girl. You have no idea how much anime there is. My sister knows about anime than you, and she's not even a big fucking fan of it. The only reason she even watches anime is because there are cute boys that she likes, but you are an insult to every fucking-
fucking otaku there is. You straw man the living hell out of every fucking anime. And you cannot even accurately describe the fucking show. You basically think that going to Japan will somehow make you a fucking expert in anime. But in reality, you just vomit down people's throats with your fucking lies. You, madam, makes Anita Sarkeesian look smart. And to do that, you must really not sh know shit at all. At least with Anita Sarkeesian, she took her time exploring the things that she was criticizing. At least she tried. But you just spread your ass cheeks and made the choice to take a big fat shit on it. I wish I could say this was just an old problem, but unfortunately it's not. There are still fairly new series that people recommend to me, I want to watch them. The first girl character is introduced, what do we get? Three different angles on her ass. I'm looking at you, Haikyuu. You know, I think there should be an internet meme after you. We shall call it Fake Otaku Girl. And that's just something that makes me automatically go, nope, nope, I'm not doing this. The rest of the series might be really good, but if you already add that kind of shit in the beginning, I'm sorry, I don't want to watch that. I've ignored the kind of stuff for so many years, but enough is enough. No wonder that a lot of girls prefer short and I as in guy-guy relationships when they read a story. Demands to see strong female characters in anime never bothers to watch Soul Eater or Sailor Moon. Because what else are they to find romantic if there's any romance at all? The girls are often really boring, not significant, only serve the purpose of fan service. Hates fan service in anime? Never watch Oran Host Club, which is basically fan service for girls. And the only bond that actually gets developed and means something is the bond between the two guys. The Japanese are so bad at creating female characters, it just leaves us with the guys. Because you know so much about anime, you've been everywhere! So it's not about it being a yaoi or whatever, it's, it's not so much about the sexual part as a lot of guys assume, it's actually the opposite, it's because it's not sexual. Okay, sure, if you go on Tumblr and you search for a certain ship, you will of course get a lot of sexualized pictures. But it's not so much about the sex as it is about the romance. And I do believe there were lesbians who actually have character development that were in Sailor Moon, which I believe their names is Sailor Neptune and Sailor Uranus. Now with all this said and done, with all its complaining, there are still a few series I'm willing to watch and that are great. I really have to praise Attack on Titan, for example. Oh, let's face the facts. The only reason you even know about it is because everyone is talking about it. That's about it. It's a humongous internet meme. How could you not know about it? It's unique, it doesn't copy Dragon Ball Z or anything, and they have a lot of diverse characters. We have strong women who aren't weaker than the guys, and the main motivation isn't always love. And there are also gay people without it being a big deal. Can we just take a moment to appreciate that? Because gay people never existed in anime. Never. Ever. Ever. Never. Ever. Ever. Why can't we have more of that? Why can't we have gay pairings in Shonen without it becoming this huge deal? Because you don't know shit about anime. Make it more diverse. The pumpkin, it's called Shonen for a reason. It's for boys. Yeah, but also a lot of girls read it. In my experience, at least half of the nerd community are girls. And a lot of them, if not most prefer to read shonen over shoujo. But those girls know more about anime than you do and don't bitch and moan about anime like you do. You are a fake geek girl. That is all you are. Girls also like to read about action, adventure, mystery. So I'm pretty sure that half of the shonen readers are female. And if the genre shonen really means that their stories are only supposed to cater to the voice, well maybe it's time then that we come up with a new genre that is for both sexes and doesn't exclude anyone. And all I have to say to you at the end of this video is that you're stupid. Stupid, 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 stupid. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out. Please notice me, senpai.